What if Esau had gotten somebody else involved in that decision? What if he had had somebody around him? So often we live in isolation, and it's, it's killing the fruit of self-control in our life because we're all by ourselves. There was an interesting study I read um, uh, about addiction that was done. Uh, it was a TED Talk. I think TED stands for TED Education and Design, or TED, Technology. TED stands for TED. T-E-D, Technology, Education, and Design. It's a series of, of talks on different uh, subjects, science, uh, biology, all kinds of fun stuff. I'm a nerd, I know. But there was a talk on there about addiction. And this, this guy shares a story from a researcher who established kind of our baseline for how we see people who struggle with addiction. And he took two rats, or I'm sorry, he took one rat in a cage with two water bottles. One of the water bottles had water. The other water bottle had water laced with heroin. And the rat's put in the cage. What do you think happens? The rat chooses the bottle with heroin every time, and every time the rat overdoses very quickly. Over and over and over again. There's a cage. And so for years we go, okay, addiction cannot be treated, or it's just an addiction. They go down this spiral, and life's over. Once they're addicted to heroin, they're done, so we're going to criminalize it and all of that. So that kind of created our parameters for how we treat drug problems and addiction. Okay, I'm not going to go into, like, any political reform or anything. I'm, not, I'm just not going there. But this created our baseline for how we see people with addiction, okay? This is done, like, in the 1930s. So then, years later, somebody stumbles across this research, I think it was in the 70s, and goes, something doesn't make sense here because all we're doing is putting one rat by himself in a cage with two water bottles. So this scientist made what he called Rat Park. He's a professor in Vancouver, and he made a Six Flags for Rats. Okay, it had colored tunnels, it had balls, it had all kind of cheese in there. I mean, they had like a charcuterie cheese board, like they were the bougiest rats you've ever seen. And he put a bunch of them in there so they had friends, and they just loaded it up. This was like Disney World for rats, which is a horrifying picture, but that's what it was. And so they've got the two water bottles. They take the one with just water, and they take the other one laced with a little bit of heroin. And what do you think the rats do in Rat Park? They completely ignore the heroin water. Occasionally, the rats will go to the water with heroin, try it, but then go to the other water bottle and not revisit it. So what happened it went from being a rat alone in a cage every single time drinking heroin water, every single time overdosing, to rats living together in a happy community with each other, if rats can have that, living in happy community with each other, eating the cheese, doing the stuff, hanging out. The failure, the, the death rate went down to almost zero. I think some of us need to just find a rat park. We're struggling with stuff. We're struggling with addiction. We're struggling with problems. We're struggling with sin. We're struggling in our relationships because we're doing it all by ourselves. And I'm telling you, this is not a great description of our church, but if you look around, you're sitting in a rat park. This is your rat park. There is community here. The other great thing about, about this church is that we're all a little bit messed up. So you can walk into church and go, well, I'm not alone in my struggle. They're struggling too. They're struggling too. We're all a little bit struggling. And you walk in here and go, hey, maybe it's less about being a part of a perfect church. And maybe it's more about just being a bunch of rats that are coming together to not drink the heroin water. I think if we will get a picture that isolation is a problem and togetherness is better, even if we're not trying to be perfect, even if we're, we have to deal with each other's ratness a little bit, it will be better to grow the fruit of self-control in your life if you'll find community. That can happen through groups. That can happen through serving in a ministry. We're, gonna, we're fixing to launch groups here in the fall and September. Community will happen. Find a rat park. Find a bunch of rats, a bunch of cheese, and get in community. Finally.